Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Seemed like I was in a trance or something right then. How you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Simply Love. Okay, I did um receive a lot of emails and stuff like that because people didn't know that I changed my channel's name. But I feel like I feel like, you know, from a lot of you, you know, commenting and sending me emails thank you so much i really appreciate that if you feel like simply love was the best name for it so i may just go ahead and change the channel back to my original name that i was here since 2013 okay so i'll i'll be thinking about doing that if they allow me to change it you know i think they give you so much time to to change it every 60 days or something like that i don't know and to check it out and I'll just you know go back to simply love if that's what you guys want um you know still simply love regardless anyway that's my stage name here on YouTube but um I also want to announce that you know tomorrow you guys tune in at 8 p.m eastern time if you can it will be recorded if you can't make it so you can go back and, and watch it we're gonna go go live uh I'm gonna put out an announcement today uh, uh I did put an announcement out but we have some uh extra people coming in um, and we're just going to sit down and just talk, okay? It's just going to be an open panel. You guys are welcome to ask questions. Um, maybe we'll pull some cards. Uh, we're going to, you know, talk about this coronavirus and, you know, so many other things. Like I said, it's going to be an open platform, okay? Um, you know, maybe your love life or your, your, your career, whatever it is, you guys can jot down your questions and ask one question or something, not no paragraph of nothing, okay? Because uh, I am open for private readings. That's why I'm kind of late. I've been swamped with with a lot of personal readings, okay? So I'm going to get you guys mid-months out here, so please be patient with me, okay? I don't want to hear this, this next, that next, this next. No, I'm going to put it out when I get it out here because, you know, I have a, a heavy load here, okay? So don't don't send me no e uh, emails or put it in the comments, oh, me next, me Pisces next, or this next, that. Don't do that because I'm going to block you and delete you, okay? Because it's not necessary, It'll be, if you don't, you know, can't wait, then, you know, there's other channels out there that you can watch, okay? I appreciate your, you wanting to, um, your reading, but, you know, hey, we're not robots here. We're not on an assembly line, and we're going to have to do it the way we need, have to do it, okay? And that's just it. So join us tomorrow night, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, and we're going to have a, a really good time, okay? Um, so Pisces, it's your... Birthday season, happy birthday to you. You guys are ruled by the uh, by Neptune, okay? You're ruled by Neptune, and here you are, Pisces, looking good, whether it's a male or female, okay? Um, Neptune is the I dream. That's the theme for the Neptune, planet Neptune is I dream. It's about illusions, okay? Because, you know, you water signs are like very, very dreamy. It's about intuition. You, your intuition is very, very, you're very high. Uh, you know how to read people. Um, some of you have to be careful with that energy. It depends on, you know, how your energy is flowing with the universe. If you're flowing with the universe, you're balanced, you're stable, and you can use that energy to help other people uh, intuitively. A lot of you could be readers or, um, or you could be... Um, teachers or uh, real good listeners. Some of you could be psychologists or sci into psychology because you can tap into that energy of uh, being intuitive and just know, can read people, you know, a as they approach you or you almost know when something's going on. You have that great feeling of, uh, of, of whatever's going on. Again, if you're if, if it's a low vibration, you have to be careful of that because you can use this energy for manipulation and you can manipulate people a lot. So that's not really a good thing. So keep that in mind. If you are hot vibing high, um, you are connected with spirit. You know, a lot of you, you know, like I said, could be uh, all those that that all that that I mentioned. OK. All right. So here we go here with the seven of swords is your first card here. We are going to do a bonus reading for you guys. OK. Happy birthday, Pisces. Happy birthday to you from Simply Love. Give you all the love in the world. Happy birthday to you. Peace and blessings, y'all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, Seven of Swords speaks about an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Y'all got a lot of air here. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or it just could be you have air in your natal chart. We're This first row, we're talking about you, okay? This is your energy, Pisces. 
So, and don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to deliver the messages. That's it. You want, and don't do nothing because of these readings. If it sounds familiar to you or resonate with you, that's not your full story. Spirit is just trying to edge you on to get your own personal private reading because they got something to tell you. That's all this is about because on YouTube, it's just general. But when you have a personal private reading with someone, they're, uh, they're bringing in your angel gods, your ancestors, and talking directly to you. Okay? That's what that is. So spirit and your ancestors said, you know, you're in the um you're in a seven of swords energy. This could be a possible deceit. It could be possibly lying, cheating, stealing could be involved or it also could mean that you try to um uh maybe sneak away from a situation. Okay, got a lot on your mind here. You know, it's like thinking because the swords are about thinking. It's about communication as well. Okay, your thoughts and communication is what the swords are about and what your words are. You take off the S, you got words. Okay, that's that's Aquarius, Gemini, Libra for you. Like I'm an Aquarius, we like to talk. Okay, we are talkers. We are great. We we are communicators. We will communicate to you. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely going to be a thing with uh, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we're, we're, we're a little rough around the edges because we, because we are communicators. Okay. But we love people. Um, so you may have air in your natal chart. Again, it could be a cross watcher. Again, it could be vice, but this is talking about you. If it's vice versa, then you know, hey, it's just vice versa. That's up to you guys to figure out. I'm just delivering the messages. Two of Swords here, where somebody is crossed right now. Somebody is like a stalemate. There's the quarter moon right there above them. It's like somebody may be protecting their heart from a situation. Somebody stagnant. Somebody maybe cut off communication right now and not saying nothing, not doing nothing, and they're not even looking at anything usually in most of the tarot cards they have a, uh their eyes are blindfolded but her eyes are closed okay so somebody's just in a stalemate position somebody i feel like you guys okay pisces because i'm reading for you guys this is your energies here coming across it's just energies y'all remember um Something happened here. It, it, like I said, it, if it's love, it's deception. Even if it's work, career, family members, whatever, it's some type of deception. And it's also and it's also about maybe some sneaky activity going on. And now it's causing you to be still and not say nothing, okay, and not do nothing. It's just like you on halt right now. Like I said, a stalemate. That's what you're at right now. Even if it comes to a, your love life, okay. Here we have more sword cards here, which is the uh, sword energy anyway. It's the Prince of Swords. We're talking about your energy right now, how you, which, what's going on with you, Prince of Swords. Okay, so the Prince of Swords is someone who rushes in with communication. You see, they got their sword up. I mean, they just coming right on in. Somebody's coming out of a stalemate situation or not speaking to speaking. Isn't that something? Somebody may have to maul something over here and, you know, pull back because of this deception. Like I said, it could be anything, work, career, or love, but, you know, it's mainly about love. Okay, so we got the uh, uh, number. Oops. We got, okay, we got justice. Okay, just is about balance and stability. A Libra, uh, a Taurus, some of you may be uh, surrounding, you may be in your surrounding, but this is your energy because we're talking about what's going on with you. So there's something that needs to be balanced out here. Uh, there's going to be a final decision regarding something. Somebody could be dealing with the justice system. Um, maybe it's because of somebody may have stolen something. Because that is the liar, cheater, thief card, okay? Somebody may have stolen something from you. Somebody's coming in with some serious, um, you know, like somebody, I feel like somebody just like at shock, like they can't believe this happened. And they're rushing, now after they've taken time out, they're like protecting themselves, shutting off, not saying nothing, like just, just like, and now they're coming in or you're coming in, rushing in with some communication, 
And the communication is I'm taking your ass to court, possibly, okay? <laughs> For some of you. You might be taking this air sign or you, you taking this, somebody to court for some of you. For some of you, it just may be you just coming to balance something out or make a, a, um, a solid decision re, uh, regarding something. You're going to make a decision about something. This also talks about karmic, some karmic energy. What goes around comes around. Somebody's going to reap what they sow. And justice is by your side, Pisces. Okay, that's your energy. Let me pull one more here. And then I'm going to just verify that. Well, I'm just going to get into how your partner's thinking. What's going on with them or your work or energy. It could be any, any type of energy, but we're mainly doing love energy. Okay, it's general and love. Okay, so think of it as your work or, or, or your parents or relative it doesn't matter excuse me when I take a drink y'all we get dried out okay okay Whew. the way you thinking wait a minute I got the cards wrong all of them upside down we can't have all of them upside down now if they flip upside down that's a different story okay there's one and here's one your partner is thinking um, about happiness with the nine of cups or your partner. Now I'm giving you different scenarios. There's a lot of people out there. Okay. Or your partner may be drinking a lot. Okay. Over this situation that I feel like you found out about. That's why you came to a halt here. So your partner's thinking about being happy or wanting some happiness. You could be dealing with a, this is your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but we're talking about them. And they are thinking about the moon, okay? They are having some type of secrets. They're keeping something away from you. They're holding back, okay, some secrets. Or something hasn't been revealed yet to you is what they're thinking. They're holding something back. They're, there's some type of secret here. It's almost like pressing the alarm. Okay, and you could be dealing with a Pisces. This is a Pisces, yeah. You could be dealing with someone like you, your energy, some type of water energy, definitely with the nine of, of, of cups here. So we had the chariot, okay? So somebody's feeling, they're feeling like they want to leave. Maybe that's what they want to, that's what they're hiding, like wanting to just go and leave the situation alone, like moving forward, traveling possibly, Maybe they travel. Maybe they're a truck driver, or, or male or female, doesn't matter, y'all. Because a lot of females do ride trucks, or they do some type of traveling. Or this is talking about for some of you, somebody's ready to just, they're just ready to leave a situation behind. And that may be the secret. Okay, let's see what's going on with your partner. Your partner is... Um, I'm kind of fickled here. Well, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody might, there's a person here in the picture. It could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy. Um, they may just be focusing on money. Or some type of investments, or this has to be a. You may have met this person at a job, but I feel like they're ready to move forward. That's what the secret is. They're ready to be. They're ready for their happiness. Let's go ahead and um, verify all this. What is the heck is going on here? I'm a little baffled. That's what they're thinking. They may be moving for some of you uh, because of a job. But whatever this is, it's going to be revealed, okay? This is just a temporary thing. It's something that just hasn't come through yet, but it will to you. But this is your partner, what they're thinking. Okay, now uh, let's verify the Seven of Swords. Two of Swords again. 
Yeah, somebody's, you know, putting up, somebody's not just, they're not saying nothing because you got it right here, right next to it again. Now it's over the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Two of Swords. Somebody's sneaking away or doing some kind of sneaky shit, okay? Period. Sneaky stuff is going on and somebody's shutting down because of it. Or you guys are. This is for, for what y'all thinking. Why is the Two of Swords here, Spirit? Thank you. The Ace of Swords. Okay. Two of Swords. Somebody's going to see something clearly. They're, you guys are going to see this clearly. You're going to have uh, some type of clarity here. And truth is coming. And it's going to bring you out of stagnation. It's going to bring you out of stagnation because the truth is coming. Okay. The truth is coming. You're going to have some clarity. You just had to sit back and look and, and not say nothing and do nothing until you got all your evidence and it is coming in and you're going to be victorious at it, Pisces. Okay. Wow. A bunch of cards fell out there. You guys are, are you guys mad about something? Okay. Now we're going to do this. Prince of, uh, or the Knight, well, the Prince, yeah, the Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, here we go, just fell out, hmm, Six of Wands in reverse, okay, they're coming in to rush in to say, you know, this shit is in balance. I don't know if you guys, I, I don't know if you are doing it. Just take the energies, take the messages and take them and put it, apply it to you if it resonates. All right. It looks like somebody's not going to be, is not being fair in a situation because the six of swords, I'm sorry. Yeah, the six of, uh, the six of wands. It says six of stabs on here, but it's the six of wands. Uh, upright, it talks about being victorious in the reverse, along with the prince of swords. Somebody's coming in real fast and saying there's no victory in this situation. Maybe something they don't want. Okay, they're here to tell you something is not going to work out. Period. Or that's what you guys are going to do because that's you guys' energy. That's you, and then we're going to get to your partner. So you're rushing in to tell somebody this. It's you don't want you don't want it. OK, yeah, because the lovers is in reverse. OK, and then we got justice. Uh, it, justice is on your side. It's going to be a straightforward uh, conversation about, you know, this relationship being over. You're going to you're 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 oh, you're done with the relationship. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You're done with the relationship. You're choosing. You're making that final choice to someone. You're giving that final, you know, decision. They may reap karma behind whatever's going on here, this sneaky activity that took place. Now, let's look at their energy. Uh, let's verify the Nine of Cups. Spirit, can you verify the Nine of Cups? Thank you. So the Nine of Cups is left with the hangman. You know, somebody wants to, like, it may stop them in their tracks, but they want happiness, but it's like they have, they've been put on hold. Okay, they've been put on hold and we know why we already know you got truth and clarity here. You got communication. Okay, and you told this person, uh, I'm not having it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not having this sneaky activity. I'm not going to be a part of a third party or anything or whatever it is that you're doing. And okay, now to with the moon card is verified by the nine of staffs or the nine of wands. Now, you, um, this person is like. Please let me in. Somebody's getting all defensive now because of it. Because the truth came out. Whatever was hidden, these secrets, you know, it came out. Somebody's trying to hold it together. You know what I mean? Somebody may, I'm hearing this energy, somebody may want to fix something. Somebody might want to fix something because it was they were caught. They didn't they don't want to hear. But let's see what the chariot brings. The chariot is verified by the tower. Yeah. Somebody's leaving here. Somebody's like, enough's enough. Your partner may just say, 
you know, it's over to maybe it's, it looks like it may be a mutual thing. Once something comes out of the, the, once this comes out of whatever's going on in the background, it hasn't been released. It's, it's out now, so somebody's putting up their def- they're putting up their defenses because whatever they was hiding or had secrets came out. Um, it, it, it put they put themselves on pause. You know, this happiness been put on pause now. Okay, <laughs> there's some delays here. I feel like somebody trying to wiggle their way out of whatever was found out here. That's what I'm feeling. And so there is just going to be a tower moment, something coming in swiftly. And it looks like somebody's leaving swiftly as well because the the, uh, chariot, it could be a cancer. It could be an Aries with the tower or a Leo. Something, you know, busted up here. Okay, there's a snake at the bottom look like crawling up. Get ready to eat this person up. Okay, you see that? The old head is hitting somebody. Get ready to gobble somebody up. And it's going to be very swift activity here. And then somebody's going to leave really, really fast. Again, I'm picking up an energy that somebody may have... uh, Stole something from you guys. This could be a work situation for some of you. Or a family situation, friendship. Mm. Wow, we got the emperor in reverse with the knight of pentacles. So some of you dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They are like, the emperor in reverse is like a control freak. This is why why this tower, or or maybe they think of you as being a control freak. Neither one of y'all look like you can get along or something here because your energy is saying uh, like you're ready to let it go. And their energy is like, okay, well, let's just let it go. The emperor in reverse could be somebody who is very dishonest and and unloyal, unfaithful. They're not faithful at all. When they're in the reverse and they're upright, they're like very loyal, faithful father figure, but they're going against the grain here. Okay. And they're usually in the upright They're you know, they follow the rules and regulations. They the boss, but in this way, and it, ta- it gives me the energy of some kind of, um, somebody who is a narcissist. Like they, the way it's going to me here is like, they don't even care that you want to break up with them. Okay. Pisces. That's what I'm getting here. They, they don't care. Um, and that's where the narcissism come in at. They're, you know, we're living in a narcissistic ener- uh, energy um, because things are changing and and everybody's coming out of that Pisces energy. Some are waking up, some are still in the energy of, of illusions and delusions, you know, trying to fool herself or being fooled by uh, a low vibrational energy. But some people are coming out of it. But I don't know. It seems like it's mutual endings here somebody is you know (laughs) okay let's see what else um your ancestors have to say spirit oh this was just sat right here so i'm just going to get this one because it was just sitting there something about communication so somebody's going to get some type of communication coming in here address concern without attacking person address this person i'm sorry if you guys are going to communicate you know do it in a dignified way because you got time here you don't shut down pisces you know and you got time to think about what you want to say when you you know get this truth out and you're going to be victorious about it but do it in a diplomatic way okay don't argue with this person because they're narcissistic and, and, you know, they don't give a damn anyway, so it's not worth your energy. Uh, just say what you have to say and keep it moving, all right, with this narcissist. Whoa. Why do all these want to come out? No, I can't. No, can't do that many. Did I show you that card? Okay. And you, communication is coming in, so... Be careful of your words. Be careful what you say. Money issues. See, I feel like somebody. I feel like somebody got caught up in a money situation. Some it was maybe a loan given to somebody, or maybe you gave a lot of your finances to this person, and they just took off with it. They could have stole it, 
Okay, fighting over money. See? I told y'all it was some kind of money thing. Look at this. And, or somebody may have stole some money here. Or you gave a loan to somebody. Y'all hit the comment section. Told you. Yeah, spirit don't lie. Money issues, fighting over money. Heal root chakra. Heal your, uh, you, a lot of you have to heal your root chakra, okay? Uh, lack of trust, fear, and safety, security, survival, and control. That's this damn... Um, <laughs> Aries right here in, uh, uh, out of control out of control in reverse okay the emperor excuse me <laughs> let me get one more card for um, Pisces please no tell go doing nothing drastic uh, I, I think I mentioned that I'm not sure y'all video got cut off I had to start over again um, until you get a personal private reading don't let these readings affect you even though it does resonate if it resonates that's good but it's just spirit trying to cry out for you to get yourself a, a personal private reading by whoever you feel like you're welcome to contact me if you'd like all the information is below on how to now if you schedule a reading when I'm going to get some uh, schedules on my website you guys have to pay for the reading before you schedule it. How are you going to schedule a reading and you're not paying for it? It's just like it gives you the amount. It takes you right over to PayPal if you hit uh, buy, uh, buy now. I don't understand that. So if you don't pay for the reading ahead of time, I can't book it. Somebody else is going to have, to, uh, have that slot. So just remember that. Okay, Splitsville. Yeah, there's going to be a split here. Okay, leaving quickly. Where's that damn... Where's the card saying? Here we go. Where is it at? Here it is. Leaving quickly. That's what the chariot does. All right? Somebody's leaving very fast. They Somebody took something, I feel like, for some of you, and now they feel, now they running. Okay? They running from it. Whether relationship or friendship, it don't matter. They're running. Okay? They done took a, they done took, um, They done packed their bags and gone, okay? They done left. Uh, that Maybe you, Pisces, you might have stole something from somebody and now running from it. Just some of you. Because this is your energy up here. Now let's look at their energy. Mr. and Mrs. Fix-It, don't try to fix others. Heal yourself. Uh, attract best partner. People-pleasing. I'm going to put that on your energy because this is what you guys do a lot. You're always trying to fix other people, help other people. You don't, you need to do your own thing, okay, and fix yourself or whatever's going on with you. See, you'll trigger this person. It's going to be, you're going to trigger them. It's almost like the tower card. Or this person's going to trigger, be triggered by you finding out something. Yeah, they're out to date. They're dating. It's almost like the Three of Cups to me. It's like they dating. They they getting around, okay? That's why they don't really care about you finding out and letting go. I'm telling you, dealing with a narcissist big time. Okay. Let's see. The grass is greener. They may think the grass is greener on the other side, but they could be, you know, that may be part of their karma. Okay, thinking the grass is greener on the other side, and, and it's not. They need to do some inner work, you know, because they're all out of balance and out of control here, you know, and it has to do with money, some type of finances they may owe up, but they need to do their inner work. They need, they think the grass is greener on the other side by dating other people, okay, but um, something's going to trigger them or something has triggered them. Sorry, y'all got pop-ups on here. Wherever the heck now look. Sorry, I can't see y'all because of this pop-up. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Where are we at? Yeah, triggering. Something's going to trigger somebody. You're going to say something and, and, and it's going to trigger them. Okay? see what else we got 
I'm going to use my deck here. They're available on my website and SD as well. I'll put the list link below. Uh, that's where I get most of my sales off of S SD. Okay. And thank you all who purchased them. I hope you are enjoying them as much as I am. Thank you so much. These are the Oracle Love and Romance uh, Answer Oracle. Okay. So if y'all have a question, go ahead and ask it right now. Okay, the one, let's see here. Yeah, you're going to get a, there is about communication coming in. It's going to be like out of the blue. We already seen that a lot, communication coming in. And we also seen the travel card where somebody's got to travel. They may have be dealing with somebody from afar, okay? Somebody here, okay? Find yourself, you know, somebody needs to find their inner peace, okay, and some type of tranquility within yourself, and then once you heal yourself, you'll be able to find love, okay, but somebody is traveling to see someone, okay, or leaving, period, to be with someone else, okay, for some of you, uh, you're going to get this communication coming up here about it, okay, Spirit, what, what other messages, let's get some angel messages here. What are the messages you have? So I feel like I'm hearing, I just heard Spirit say something about uh, you, using, somebody been using someone for money. That's why the situation like you find out about and bring it to their attention is going to trigger them and they're going to up and leave. They may have, for some of you may have stolen the money, but I'm picking up for the majority of you been just giving this person money over and over again and they just took advantage of it. And now it's like maybe you're tired of it or, you know, something, or maybe this time they stole money when you said no or something I'm hearing for a scenario for some of you. Um, but once they hear this, they're just going to, they just, they're not even going to care. They're not going to care because they were using anyway for some of you, they were using you anyway. Prioritize, you know, it's time to prioritize yourself in your life because all will be well for you, uh, Pisces. Okay. All will be well. Okay. You got that clairvoyance. I told you guys, you, you guys are highly intuitive. Use your, your into use your intuition at this time. One more card, please, for Pisces spirit, please. One more card. This thing ain't going, there's a breakup here. It ain't going nowhere. And, and the other person don't even care. Whatever they did, you know, just clear that energy. Don't have no hate in your heart, uh, Pisces, about it. Just move on, okay? Because you don't want to put no en negative energy out there and try to do something to someone else because you just didn't work out because you'll just get that back too, all right? You'll have karma. So would it look like two people suffering karma? It's not just move, keep it moving. Clear your space and clear your energy, okay? Clear your energy, clear your space. Use sage. What I do, I just get leaves from outside. I got a big bag of leaves here, and I got some of them. I don't know. I'll show you guys. what I, I don't know what I did with them right now, but they, they're round balls that after the leaf falls, leaves fall in Philly, because this is where I got them from. I don't see them around here. So when I was in Philly, it's like their leaves fall. They have to pick up their leaves. And then they, after the leaves fall, there's a ball on the tree. And I know you guys know, I don't know the name of them or anything, but I remember when we were younger and these little balls have spikes around them, you know, all these little spikes, but I take those, anything, like I said, for I'm using is going to be from nature. It's going to be from mother earth itself. I ain't got to go out here and buy all this other stuff. I don't need to do that. I ain't got to do that. I'm, I'm going to take what works around me because Mother Nature is forever. Mother Nature knows how to take care of herself, and I'm going to bring that energy into my energy field. Whatever has to do with nature, nothing else. It's, whatever we need is all around us. It's not, we don't, it's all around us. We shouldn't have to be paying for it, okay? Not knocking those who do sell all that shit, but hey, I just feel like it's all around you. You don't need to go outside yourself mother is nature's right outside your yard okay but anyway what was i saying oh gosh what was i saying okay 
Let's see if I had anything else. Let's do another round for you, Pisces. It's going to be a bonus. Let's see if we, we're going to try to get to many Pisces out there as we can. And just choose whatever one fits you in your circumstances. And again, happy birthday to you all. If you're a Pisces and you're Pisces season, if you'd like to have a personal private reading with me, call me uh, or email me or text me or something. My information is listed below in the description. My email is ssimplylove06 at gmail.com, okay? Um, and I'll give you a special on a reading for an hour, okay? Just let me know if you're, you know, for the Pisces season. Okay, we're going to do another round. Are we doing another round? Yay, for Pisces. We're at 35. Okay, 35. We're going to make this one real quick. <laughs> it's just mid-month. We should be only doing 30 minutes. Okay, for mid-month. Should be. Okay, where's my crazy cards? Here they go. I love these cards. I'm going to read y'all from the Dark Mansion Tarot. These are hard to get, you guys. I finally got mine. I was on the list, honey. Yes, Hunte. I was on the list for these. <laughs> okay. Spirit, let's get some additional bonus information for some, uh, some Moon Rising and Venus sign for Pisces. This is an all-around love reading, okay? All-around love reading here. All-around love reading. Let's get some information. Wow, this one wanted to come out. For the sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for Pisces. No. So this one tried to come out. Ooh. Mm hmm. Okay, well, I'm looking at the Page of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the Fool, and the Death card, and the Page of Swords, the Creeper, Jeepers Creepers, Six of Wands. It's an all around love reading. High Priestess, the Hermit, somebody dealing with a Virgo. Four of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, happiness. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, Pisces. Okay, first card up is the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands talks about a message that's coming in. It could be an exciting message. It, anyway, it's just a messenger. You could be dealing with a, a fire sign, Aries, a Sagittarius, a Leo. It could be dealing with someone who's a lot younger than you are, or you're maybe you're younger than them. However the shoe fit, please wear it. Oh, this was sticking on the bottom, so I'm happy. You might be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, who, somebody who loves money, okay? Somebody who's very independent and good with money somebody who could be there's several things i'm getting here somebody could be a user they like to have money they like to keep up on the material things they're very materialistic or they somebody that is uh, um very independent and they make their own money they make good money okay and they know they're very grounded and and stable within themselves might hear from this person he or she remember you that y'all and we have the nine of swords of aquarius gemini or libra somebody's stressing all right somebody can't sleep somebody's crying and carrying on some of y'all crying why because somebody wants to take a leap of faith into something brand new and you can see there this little this little pet there trying to stop them he or she you he you or them Trying to stop them. They're like, no, I'm, I'm taking this leap of faith anyway. So, so it seems like somebody's trying to stop somebody from leaving, taking a, a new a journey, a new path in life. This is all about newness. It's starting from ground zero. So they're taking their little experiences that they learned, you or the other person, and they're just packing their bags and leaving. And somebody, look, you know, that like I said, whoever was trying to hold on to you or you holding on is trying to stop you from taking this leap of faith, but you're going to do it. 
Anyway, it's a major arcana card. At least they're advising you to. And we have the death card, another major arcana card. You know, with these two cards together, it is endings for new beginnings. That's what it is, transformation, all right? So you got two major arcana cards there saying spirit is like screaming, go, go, go. Because you got a spire or somebody lurking and all up in your business, maybe on your social media page. Somebody try to get information. Some of y'all may have hired a private detective to find out about what was going on here. You know, somebody, you know, like I said, is in it for the money. Could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or you have it in your chart. Could have been dealing with uh, Aquarius or an Aries. Death card is a Cancer, I believe. No, maybe a Scorpio. Y'all correct me. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the uh, the secrets. Here's the secret right here. Okay, somebody's holding secrets or keeping secrets, not saying nothing, just sitting back, you know, chilling. Like I'm just observing. I'm taking in all the energies. I'm using my intuition, and I'm taking notes. I'm the gatekeeper of secrets. I know what I see. I know what I feel. And when I'm ready to say it, I say it, okay? This also can mean, you know, get yourself a personal private reading from a reader because the high priest is, is a tarot card reader or a spiritualist, okay? Um, and then we have the six of wands. Six of wands talks about victory in a situation. Once you come out and find information, you'll have victory in it, okay? What's the secret or whatever you're holding or the other person? And then you have the hermit, major arcana card. I feel like you're going to ghost somebody afterwards. Yeah, because here's, uh, here's the four of cups, you know, disappointment. You know, somebody's going to be disappointed that you're, you know, just going to leave. Um the hermit is shining a light on your victory right here. You see how they're doing that? They're like saying, hey, you're going to have victory. I'm going to shine a light on you. Somebody could be a superstar or something. It could be like a, 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 a star, an actual star. Somebody well-known. And somebody's going to refuse uh, uh, this cup of love. They're like, I don't want it. I got these three cups to worry about here. I don't what I need your cup for. And somebody's going to be happy in the end. Let me pull one more. This is going to lead to happiness. Okay? For some of you out there. Like I said, if you get if this does resonate, this could be past, present, or future. It doesn't matter. Okay? Take it how it comes, y'all. Y'all know how all this go if you watch uh, YouTube videos. Yeah, somebody's like moving on here, I'm telling you. Because somebody wants to be happy. They content. They got all their cups lined up. And for some of you, I'm feeling like, you know, maybe you, go, you guys are going through rehab or somebody else is going through rehab or needs to go through rehab for drinking. You know, having a drinking problem. They could be having you see they got a bottle of wine. That's just for some. They may have a drink, may try to stop drinking or need to stop drinking. That's another scenario that came in my head that spirit was telling me for some of you. So somebody's, you know, you know, get, uh, getting a child. That's that's the same person, but that's them as a child. So some people are getting over, their, you know, and taking their, their, their swords represents communication. Yes. But they're trying, they're moving away from these choppy waters. You know, they're taking a child in themselves, their life experiences here, all that they went through. And they're jumping in the boat and they're like, let's go. I'm tired of this shit. Let's go. That's what I got for you, Pisces. You know, y'all leave your comments there. You know, I pick somebody um, every month at the end of the month for uh, leaving your comments, like, sharing, subscribe, stuff like that. So it don't take much to hit the like button. Don't take much to hit the subscribe button. So you can, you know, come back for more or whatever you want to do there. Okay. Simply Love really appreciates it. Sorry about that. I thought I had it on air, air mode, airplane mode. But anyway, we're done anyway with you guys. Um, yeah, like I said, and Tuesday, don't forget Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We're going live, y'all. We're just going to be have a free platform, okay? We're going to be answering some questions, so have your questions ready. And make sure it's not no nothing long and 
telling your whole life story. That's not what it's about. We're just going to answer a question and that's it. And we, you know, whatever other conversations that you may have or want to talk about. Okay. So we'll see you guys then. Happy birthday again to all you Pisces. Take care of yourself. Much love to you. Bye. Peace and blessings. Ha, ha, ha.